Hey guys, Chris again from the VW Shop in New York, and in this video we're going to talk about original or not original. That is the question. That term is thrown around like crazy on the internet of cars I see for sale on a daily basis. I search this country on a daily basis, guys, whether it's Craigslist, eBay, the Samba, uh, carsforsale.com, or, or classiccars.com, Hemmings, whatever it is. That term is thrown around like crazy. So I'm here to clarify and give you my perspective of what is original and what is not original. And uh, just also touch base on the state of the market right now. Uh, we're in almost June 2017. We're hitting Memorial Day weekend. And uh, just going to give you an update of what 2017 is looking like compared to, say, last year. All right, so let's get to it. Original and not original. All right, I see cars across this country. And it's amazing how many of them are all original people are just throwing that out there like it's candy and it's a terminology that seems to be accepted 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 no matter what you know state the car is in uh, what condition the car is in or what kind of previous restoration the car has had um, here it is plain and simple my views your views might be different everybody else's views seem to be different when it comes to all original but all original to me is like that 1965 ruby red Beetle that I found in Wappages Falls, New York a few years ago that had 8,000 original miles on it, never painted, never altered, okay, uh, no interior change, no paint, um, yeah, no motor rebuild, things like that. That is all original, something untouched, completely untouched. Um, those are the hot cars on the market today, too. Uh, everybody likes and wants an all original untouched vehicle, something that has original mileage, original documentation as well to back up your mileage. I hear mileage thrown out there all the time and just because it's on the odometer doesn't mean that that is the original mileage. Beetle odometers, uh, speedometers were easy to uh, clock back and when they roll over after 99,000 miles, it goes back to zero. So um, I see that a lot too, but uh, yeah, those are the hot cars. But that is what all original is to me, in my eyes, guys. Uh, that means it's never been painted, uh, it's never had a rebuilt motor or a changed motor or, or an interior change or a headliner change or anything like that. It is untouched, okay? So that is all original uh, to me. But I see ads today constantly showing cars saying all original, but I had a motor rebuilt, but I had the car painted. Um, you know, it's, it's not all original. I mean, maybe he's got all the original panels on it, so maybe he didn't change the fenders or the metal, but if you, if you altered any sort of the history, whether from your painting to interior to carpet to, you know, anything to that nature, aesthetically to the car, sorry, it's not all original anymore. Um, so I don't know how much more basic I can say it or how my, you know how I can uh, dumb it down to layman's terms, uh, but I, I just see it's thrown out there like crazy where a guy will say it's all original, but I had to change the rear fender. Uh, but I, I did change, I did uh, paint it a few years ago, or I did up, I did upgrade the motor. The 1300 is not in there in the 66 anymore. I put it in the 1600, but it is all original. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it's just I know it's a dealer cap thing. It's a you know selling feature thing. Okay, so. That's that. People have been emailing me, so I wa just wanted to clarify what is original and what is not original. So I think, hope you get it now. Um, and then as far as the market today, 2017, uh, if you read uh, Sports Car Digest or if you read any sort of Hemmings or if you read any uh, Haggerty uh, newsletters that I get, um, 2016 I spoke to about last year it was kind of a lull year. Um, things were dipping. People were kind of holding on to their money uh, because, uh, I guess because of the election here in the United States. And uh, people were just kind of on edge of who was going to win, whether you're right or left or Democrat, Republican, whatever it is. I, I don't care. Uh, it's just people were on edge of who was going to get in. Um, now that that's in the past and uh, things, people are moving on, uh, it seems like uh, things are picking up. Uh, my, my shop is actually has been uh, busier, uh, so which is real good. Uh, but if you read any of ha Haggerty's issues, they're saying that the sub-100,000 dollar car market is very hot right now uh it's doing very well the big multi-million dollar cars and stuff um like your bugattis or your, your duesenbergs and, and things like that maybe your ferraris um i don't know that market well but they are people kind of holding on to their money and they're not really splurging as much as they used to in the past uh, but the sub one hundred thousand dollar market range which is great for volkswagen people um 
that market is very hot. People are looking to dip their, their hands into those cars. Uh, so that's really cool. And I've seen it too. I went to Barrett Jackson in June. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, not in June, in April. Uh, down in West Palm Beach and uh, you know there was the bus down there that broke a record for two hundred sixty five thousand dollars Which is insane. So uh, but there was ups and downs There was a couple other Volkswagens that did very well and some that didn't that should have so it's it's funny uh, so But they're saying this sub one hundred thousand uh, dollar market range for all types of cars in that range are doing very well and that could make 2017 surpass 2016 uh, as far as overall sales so uh that's it guys uh overall if you have any questions email me chris at classicvwbugs.com or um, visit my website my new and updated website classicvwbugs.com uh now it's all mobile friendly and looking beautiful so um understand i get bombarded with emails guys i uh, just wanted to put this out there too that uh i can't answer all your questions i can't answer all your uh, your emails um, I, between my Facebook, my Twitter, my YouTube channel, and my email. Uh, just getting a lot uh, lately, and it's very hard for me to, to keep up. So I'm a one-man band when it comes to my uh, side of communication. So uh, if you have any questions, just throw me an email. I'll, hopefully, I'll get back to you. But um, if I don't, I do apologize. But All right, that's it. I'm rambling. Talk to you later. Take care. Uh -huh.